Hey everybody, Mark here. Going to do a quick uh, design review of the Butcher style um, locking mechanism for the NASA Grab Crad Challenge. Um, so I've actually have another video. I'll link it to this one, um, but it shows this uh, in action. But I wanted to be able to show uh, the model and all the pieces that I designed into it um, a little bit more clearly. Um, so here is the SolidWorks model of the handrail clamp. Uh, and I'll talk about kind of the key features real quick and then we'll go into a little bit more in depth about how uh, the design process came about and what I used to, uh, you know, where I got some of the information to find um, to design this. So uh, first step or first thing is that we have our um, our, our T-rail cut into it. Uh, this is just a standard one that you can find uh, uh, on the GrabCAD uh, NASA Challenge website. You know, n n n nothing great about it. It's just the, the same size and thickness as, it, as they suggested. Um, looking at it, I was kind of curious, can you make this a little bit thicker? Um, I don't have one of these locking nuts in here right now. Um, so I'm questionable. Can I make this thicker? I can, you know, in the model, obviously. Um, so in the future it might happen. Um, as you saw in my previous designs, that this handle actually extended and was and it was flush to the surface. Um, with some design changes, it was able to be recessed, and you can see that it's recessed right there. Um, and the ability for it to be recessed is that it can never interfere with any of this working here. Um, so when the nut locks into place, your handle won't be in the way. Um, this handle can be longer as well. Um, I don't have it. It's, you know, it's not, not a bad length right now. It's probably um, two inches uh, or less than two inches, but it can be extended to three, four inches. You know, really the, the, uh, uh, the machine that's in space, you know, what size is capable of the arm. Um, this is printed um, like this. Um, so the strength is in this direction. So if you want to have some more me uh, um, uh, mechanical advantages uh, with this handle, um, it's definitely possible to make it longer or to even change the design. Now this is just a balance a symmetry um, with two tangent circles at the top and bottom. Um, but this handle can be designed, um, you know, with different arms and you know, sky's the limit. So there are some different options. Um, that you can do with this handle and also you could you could theoretically extend this handle out a little bit so maybe there's uh, more of you know a finger hold uh, to be able to lock this thing down but so that that's just let's just go around it so there there's my T cut out there's the handle that goes into the uh, buttress style threads and you'll see that inside there there's a there's two blades and two reliefs cut into this into this design um, that gives the ability uh, for this handle to be turned uh, 90 degrees and then removed. Uh, when it's turned and removed, this back piece can just come right off. So it's easy to store, easy to move around, um, and gives you a very tight connection. Um, but let's see if we can see some more stuff. So that's just you know where where the lock goes into place. But here is um, interesting. This this you don't have to use a thread on this. Uh, but let's get into a top view. Here we go. Let's go to uh, top view. There we go. So here's a top view of it. Um, but you can see I, I fill it at all my edges here. Uh, so I will have, let's see, I can fill it at all my edges here. Um, so they're smooth. Uh, but also the forces are going to be coming through here. The more of the angle that you get off this thing, um, the less strength it will give you and actually able to form the plastic out more. Um, but here is something cool, guys. Uh, that I learned that you can use to any model. Um, but if you're making a cut, don't make the cut just straight across. Instead, when you use your cut, go to a point down here. So I think it's actually cuts it 0 0.001 millimeters. So there there are two surfaces, um, but it's it gets down to basically an exponential area down here. But what this allows you to do is um, so this thing can float and then it uses this back point as a fulcrum to close these two pieces together when your cam lock locks into place. 
or not your cam lock. I'm sorry, your uh, your buttress your buttress lock uh, or buttress threads lock into place. So that's a cool thing, guys. If you're doing any even even clamps or something like that, look into doing something like this. Um, this gave me a lot better a lot better uh, biting uh, strength, and it is it, it allows for the 3D printer. Uh, if you don't have a perfect print, it allows for the 3D printer or, or the, the print to compensate uh, if you have any issues. So that is, I guess, everything. So you have your, your arm with your screw, and then you have your, your nut assembly back here. But let's turn off uh, kind of this back clamp really quick. So I'll go over to, to here. I'll go hide my body. And we can go and then look at how this works. So this is actually considered a buttress style ANSI, I think 45.7. I'll pull it up another one, uh, but it's a, it's a it's a standard uh, thread pattern for the buttress style. But what's cool about it is you can see the I can't really see it without with this in the way. Let's turn that off real quick. Let's go and hide that. There we go. But you can see the thread pattern has a 45 degree um, cut here but then it has a seven degree you could make it zero but it's, it's a seven degree uh, standard cut here so it gives you all your strength uh, when you're locking in a place and the back pressure there there is none so really if you try to push this in you're you're, you're actually um, you get your most strength out of this area but um, and then there also is a small relief cut into here for the threads and this is right at a um, four millimeter pitch. So from peak to peak, it's four millimeters. But let's go into the thread itself so you can have an idea. Let's go into that sketch and I'll show you the sketch itself and how I designed it. Here we go. So I think it's going to be actually my top again. So here is the the thread. Let's go. Let's go jump over to kind of the Wikipedia. Um, but a but to talk about the buttress thread. But the buttress thread form, also known as the breech lock thread form, uh, refers to two different thread profiles. Um, these are used for you can if you have a lathe and it has a travel on it, you'll see this same kind of thread on it um, or a lead screw. Um, but there there's 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 four different or five different uh, thread patterns uh, for the butcher style. There's a simple, um, there's a simple, you can see that's just a 45 degree. These are zeros. Um, but the one that I chose, I went through this, there's a British, there's the uh, 45 five, and then there's a German uh, sawtooth. But I went through the ANSI, uh, the ANSI 45 seven. Um, but what I like about this is there's a little bit of relief down at the bottom. Oh, don't look, look big enough. There we go. There's a little bit of a relief down at the bottom. You can see right here. Um, so that allows for any, when you have a 3D printer, that will allow for any loss. Um, and, you know, basically I just went into the, the software or I went into the software and typed in all these numbers. And let's see if I can jump in my SOLIDWORKS again. Here we go. So if I back into SolidWorks, um, I did the equation. So E4. So every one that you see an E next to, it created um, based off this E4. So you guys can jump into this as well. And if you want to change that to, I'll just do it real quick. But if you want to change that to 6, there we go. And then change. It should make it bigger. There we go. Um, and this would cut out just the same as any other one. So you could jump into my model and go and change that. Uh, continue and ignore. Uh-oh. Didn't like that. Let me jump back into this and fix the model. Uh, but you should theoretically be able to go in here. And change this. Okay, we'll just. I don't know what I was thinking. I'll. I'll don't show this again. Continue. And I should. 
be able to there we go <laughs> I'll just rever I'll just come right back out of it there we go but there's there's the thread um, to create the opposite side um, or to create uh, the the cut into it let's roll, roll this back really quick maybe it will roll back into there but to create uh, the actually the nut itself all I did was I went to a, I went and created a surface body well, this will pop up but I went and created a point two millimeter off the surface of that body uh, to cut into this nut or to cut into the nut itself um, you can see I think my offset here we go if we get down here this is when it actually will get cut into place um, so it's cut into place and then to create uh, the breech style locks into it I went and I want to say it's 91 uh, you know, and actually an angle of, of 91 to cut these these breech locks in. Also, I did a, a, a point two going in and going out of, of where the thread is to give myself a little bit of relief. Obviously, you know, 3D printers aren't perfect, um, but it'll give me a little bit of play um, to allow that uh, to work. And so if we run it to the end, and you could go through this model as well, but if you go to the end, uh, and you can just see how it's designed and, and other little features about it. But that is my uh, that's my butcher style lock um, for the NASA handrail challenge. And if you guys have any questions, please uh, link below, and I will try to answer any questions that I have um, about this. And so good luck to everybody else and. I hope you guys can use my model, uh, you know, with your designs and to see what you can create great out of it. Thank you.